Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 235. Today we have uh, the SPX and SP Game Use Mixer. This was originally scheduled to go Thursday night. It didn't fill, it filled overnight Friday into Saturday morning. So we're doing it Saturday at one o'clock, a little like, you know, afternoon break. Gonna be some fun. Uh, again, kind of a fun little mixer. We got some SPX, SP Game Use. Uh, so some fairly good, like high end hit potentials out of there. Uh, I'd love to see one of the like UD Black, the um, the white acetate patches those would be that'd be an insane thing i've wanted to see one of those in person for a while and i mean just being able to pull one would be really cool so anyways without further ado let's get underway with today's break uh so we'll do three times on the names three times on the teams who you line up with is who you get good luck everyone here we go all right three times once twice and third time, a meal on top. A Dennis or Denis? Is it Dennis or Denis? Uh, on the bottom, and then teams three times. Here we go. And once, twice, and third time. Minnesota on top. Pittsburgh on the bottom. Here we go. Here are your teams. Emil, you got the Wild. Brody, you've got the Coyotes. Nelson with the Kings. Uh, Jeremiah with the Sharks. Joseph with the Blues. Emil with the Islanders. Matthew with the Ducks. Nelson with the Red Wings. Jeremiah with Chicago. Mitchell with the Kings. Uh, Den Denny, Dennis, I'm going to call Dennis for now, uh, for the Boston Bruins. Uh, Brody with the Lightning. Robert with the Sabres. Bill with the Oilers. Nelson for the Flames. Cody, you got the Avalanche. Jeremiah with the Capitals and Panthers. Uh, Jean-Francois with the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. Hat Crackers, you got the Flyers. They just won. Uh, Dennis with the Stars. Brendan with the Habs. Marshall with the Predators. Brendan with the Jets. Joseph with the Senators. Bill, you got the Hurricanes. Brendan with the Leafs. And Sarah with the Rangers. Nice team there. Leonard, you got the Canucks. Emil with the Devils. And Dennis with the Penguins. There are your teams. this over into the team viewer as per usual there we go all right png perfect all right so we go that should be correct let me double check the team is in alphabetical order it should be Looks all correct. So we'll give again. We'll give our standard couple minutes for trades. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any trades, just given that uh, you know there's no one in the or maybe one or two people in chat. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna clear up my garbage can while I'm at it. There's no chatter. Let's, uh, I think only one person in here. So let's, uh, let's get started. Well, so we'll do the retail. Uh, from the retail, we will do uh, SP Game Use SPX, SP Game Use SPX. Feels like the best way to do it. Hockey Day in Canada today. Forgot about that being today. Uh, always a fun day when you can watch hockey from, especially on the West Coast, from nine, pretty much breakfast time to bedtime. So. Yeah. All right. Let's uh hope hope for some good stuff. Our last retail wasn't the best, but. Uh, actually, let's rip and sack again. It's generally the best way. Again, for those who are unfamiliar with ripping and stacking for breaks, is essentially it's when you have like a big product, like Series One Bowman Chrome is another good example. I mean, um, 
when you have those types of products where it's like lots of packs, OPG Platinum, lots of packs, not a ton of cards, or like, you know, it's a fairly standard box. Like you're not looking through each card to find something incredible. Um, like there's not a ton of patch autos type of stuff. Like it's not SPX, SP game used. It's just easier to kind of rip and stack through. You can kind of keep, you know, you see everything that goes on. Um, and it kind of just makes the break flow a little bit better. And it also allows me to be a little bit more focused on what I'm talking and saying, even though I can uh, bounce around from topic to topic if you've been following all, all the breaks throughout time. So here we go. All right. It also makes cleanup a lot easier when you do it all in one shot like that. So, all right. Here we go. Uh, Kemper for the Yotes on the portraits. Again, there's no weird base variations, but I mean, there's some good young guns like Lafreniere for the New York Rangers right out of the gate. There we go. Box one, pack two, Laugh young gun for the Rangers. A little bit of a soft edge, I'd say, down on the left side. Uh, corners are okay. They're not, uh, oh, the top right corner is a little bit. It's on the back that you can really notice it, but yeah, the edges aren't the best, but it's still a laugh young gun. Um, you're still happy with it. There's some uh, trade rumors about him, possibly. I know the Canucks just hired his, uh, his agent as an assistant GM, so they're linking that and JT Miller and stuff. And honestly, it would be a very interesting trade. That was a base pack. Terse for the Predators. Patch ready for Vegas. I mean, if you're Vancouver, you take that every day of the week, I think. Uh, Cup for the Avs. Well, maybe not every day of the week. Because, like, he obviously, like, hasn't done well at the NHL level. But I think, you know, I, we talked about it. I'm less confident in that being a laugh issue. and more confident in that being, like, a Rangers organizational issue. Because they haven't really developed a ton of prospects. Like, legitimately, the... I really don't know, actually. Zuccarello for the wild on the portrait. I don't... I couldn't tell you the last, uh... Like, major name. Lots of base packs. Holy cow. But, yeah. Uh... Bellows for the Islanders. Like, all of their major picks have kind of... I'm just going to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Uh, all of their major draft picks have kind of gone... Uh... Not as planned... To say the least, so nothing here. Sedina for the Red Wings and Schmaltz for the Oats. There we go. So, um, be interesting to see if they can, if the Rangers can correct that because I mean, they're gonna need to long term, but also, like, just if uh, if it's a who their drafting issue or if it's just a development issue i would just given the number of like fairly decent prospects that they've had i would lean to the second part of that but looks like we got a jersey card another jersey card so we got a two jersey card box and normally series one retail is very consistent with what you get in each box. You normally get your six young guns, four canvas, um, four portraits, one jersey card, one dazzlers. Uh, this year it's a little bit more varied where you can sometimes not get that young gun. You can sometimes get an extra young gun, sometimes get an extra jersey card, uh, sometimes get an extra, well, I guess you can normally get an extra pink dazzlers, but it's been a little bit of a varied year. Things will keep you on, keeps you on your toes a little bit. That's for certain. All right, here we go. Came for Chicago on the portraits. Harley for the stars on the young guns. 
base pack. Krug for the Bruins on the jersey card. Seth Jones for Columbus on the canvas. Birdie for the Jets on the Young Guns. So one Young Gun left. I think one portrait or two portraits on canvas. And that takes us to the next portrait, which is Hellebuck for the Jets. If there was a hit, it'd be right there. Seven, nothing there. Delandrea for the Stars. Stars are a decent team to have whenever you have Series 1 from 2020, 2021. Vasilevsky for the Lightning. They're just really, really solid. I don't know, maybe we did get our uh, portrait, right? Yeah, we got our four portraits. We got our canvases. We got everything. We just got an extra jersey card, I think, right? Yep, extra jersey card. I mean, hey, we take those. <laughs> Uh, Callum, so I think the Series 1 checklist is, speaks to Upper Deck's, uh, like, kind of just supply issue or printing, something like some sort of issue in their pipeline because, I mean, there's a decent number of players that got cha that changed teams in the offseason and, um, or play, yeah, players that change teams in the offseason that have young guns on their old team. I mean, like Kyle Burrows, for example, uh, Cole Lind, uh, Lane Peterson. There's a couple others. There's um, Mark Michaelis. I guess Mark Michaelis is actually still technically, like, he hasn't played an NHL game for Toronto, but um, he actually doesn't even have an NHL contract. I believe he's on an AHL deal. Um, so it's like one of those, like, I think that was it the main issue but um if you like goalies it's a really good checklist uh there's three really good goalies on it so um that's good to see i mean zegris is going to be the headliner caulfield will be interesting to see where he settles at um it's it's not like again and i say this like prefacing with it like it's still an okay series one like it's not the worst um because like the top end's really great um but it is like it could have been a lot stronger i mean like series two could actually legitimately be insanely stacked and they could also like do extended because like, i think they're gonna have to do an extended this year again just out of the sheer amount of rookies that have debuted um, I think we're at, like, even if they did a 50, like, if they did a 50 Young Gun extended checklist, I think we'd be, like, as of right now, like, 25 players wouldn't get Young Guns, essentially. So, um, pick your team's going to be interesting on that, <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't say the Canucks will be $5 because they have young guns on their team uh they'll actually like have some sort of value to them just because i mean and like colin isn't the worst but yeah, they're not gonna be like an insane team but yeah series two i mean like you know you could have spider raymond i mean if they want to put mctavish eklund uh, marco rossi uh cole perfetti like, they could load the heck out of Series 2. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, and we do have a Young Gun canvas coming up, by the way. But I, I think it's... it's I'll have to see the rest of the checklist, but Vasilevsky for the Lightning. I was really shocked to not see Coland in a Kraken jersey for it. Uh, just because I think it would have been really, really good to start off with, you know, one Seattle rookie. A lot of base cards. There's Foodie for the Blue Jackets on the Young Guns. Presents up for the Capitals. Dazzlers of Stone for Vegas. 
Uh, Leonard, you have the Canucks. You have the Canucks. Nothing to note. I don't think anything at all yet, but not the worst team in the world to get, so. Kind of middle of the pack team. Um, a car for the Avs. Ottinger for the Stars. Stars are cleaning up. As I, I mean, they normally do in Series 1. They're normally one of the better teams, so. A lot of base. Because we have a Krabs Young Gun Canvas for the Golden Knights. Nice one there. And Robertson for the Leafs. Good, uh, really good box one. We got our Young Guns were Fui, Ottinger, Robertson, and... Uh, the Krebs Young Gun Canvas, I, that's that's a really good box. Make sure we're not missing anything. Again, it's really easy to tell when you get one of the uh, special Easter egg. Well, not Easter egg, but like the, um, the short print cards, like the Day with the Cups or the uh, first round picks or the ceremonial puck drops, because they normally have big foil on them in the back, so definitely way different so there are no photo variations there are no french variations in retail so we don't have to worry about those yeah. solid two boxes honestly like laughs good the crap like the that half of young guns is good i mean robertson still got potential i think he's definitely fizzled out a lot but um, Ottinger's good, and then Foodie wasn't, like, isn't the worst in the set, so, and then I really like Peyton Krebs, so, I think long-term he'll be good, but we'll have to see. Uh, Freesar, <sighs> sorry, what's your, uh, first name again? Sorry, I just always forget, is it, is it Sarah? I'm guessing just based off the, uh, the thing, but. Uh, throw the team bureau where's it if it is who I think it is and I think you I think you got the Rangers if I'm not sure yeah you, you have the Rangers so uh you, you gotta laugh already <laughs> so here we go Second half of the second box. Dubois for the Blue Jackets. Benson for the Oilers. Base pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sam Steele for the Ducks on the jersey card. Uh, Carlson for the Sharks on the canvas. Josh Norris, really good box of young guns. Holy cow. Norris for the centers. We're hitting like all the uh, kind of NHLers. So uh, O'Reilly for the Blues. Velarde for the Kings on the Young Guns. Lindholm for the Flames. And another Dazzlers. Hurl for the Sharks. All right, let's go through. Uh, other than the Florida goalie, what other ones for goalies to watch out for? I mean, there will be people in on Swayman early on, um, the Bruins goalie. And then I really like Uko Pekalukkanen in Buffalo. Um, I think if Buffalo turns it around, he'll be a big part of that. And he's just generally done well at every level he's played at, so... I like him. Um, other young guns that I like in that set, uh, I need to get my list back out for it. But uh, like Drysdale is one that I like Drysdale as a player. His NHL results have been underwhelming, but like I'm willing to give him benefit of the doubt. So good box too. Like really good box too. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, let me just crack this 
something quickly. Uh, dungeons, 21, 22. There we go. That's what I want. Actual checklist. Where is this? Yeah. Um, Shane Pinto from Ottawa. That's another one that I like. Uh, Ross Colton. I'm like, Ross Colton will be interesting to see where uh, his sale value is right away. Um, just because, you know, cup winning goal, plays for Tampa Bay. Like, doing pretty well, but not also like the highest, like, most thought of player. So. That's one that's interesting. Um, I mean, Tanner Genoa has or Genoa has been doing really good for Nashville. So, like, that's the name to keep an eye on. Um, I mean, outside of them, Logan Thompson for Vegas is also weird. Like, goalie from U Sports. So, like, um, essentially. Canadian version of NCAA, uh, CIS, whatever you want to call it. It's U Sports now, but um, his like just not the best results throughout everything. Um, but who else? Who else do I like on that checklist? I mean, Kupari. I like Kupari. I don't think he'll be. It's just tough because I don't know where he's going to land up. Uh, Kalen Addison's a name to watch out for. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's a lot of like depth players. Cam York and Zach Jones are two defensemen. One for York is with the Flyers. Um, Jones is with the Rangers. Just if they do anything, they'll probably be well liked. Um, but yeah. It's pretty much all holdover rookies from last year. So, well, it, it is all holdover rookies from, rookies from last year. And, like, I think Jacob Bryson's the average NHL defender, which is good. But, like, that's not going to – he's not going to sell well, I think. Same with, like, you know, a few other players. So, like, Kyle Burrows. Like, I like Kyle Burrows as a depth defender. Matthews for the least, but, like – as my young gun in a box, no thank you. Belzeal for the Habs. Give me, like, I don't know, give me upside. Colin's interesting. Again, mentioned his name a few times, but definitely one of the ones that has, like, the highest potential, I would say. Marcia so for Vegas on the jersey. So, Man Room Psych for the Flyers. You'll levy for the Canucks on the young guns. But yeah, it'll be a, I think it'll be solid. I think the canvases might be decent. Um, I would be shocked if we like don't get a Byfield Young Gun canvas and maybe like um, New Hook as well. Like there are some players that they can put in for the canvas side of things. So uh, Shen for the Blues. So it'll be interesting. I'll uh, have to wait for the full checklist to really give my full thoughts on it as per usual, but. Making sure I'm not missing anything here. I'm not. Perfect. Ooh, we got a checklist of Laugh and Kratzoff for the Rangers. Will either one of them be a Ranger by the end of the year? Rask for the Bruins. Aho for the Hurricanes. There we go. Uh, series 2 is right now... Um, May 25th, I want to say. I haven't checked in a while, but that's, like, subject to change. Um, the place that I go by, I go by the Universal Distribution website. Um, they generally are the most up-to-date and generally, like, yeah, they generally post the delays the quickest and also the bump-ups the quickest. So uh, I think, like, next release after Series 1 will be Okichi. And then I think, so 21-22 Series 1, then 21-22 OPG, uh, then 2021 20, uh, Stature, I believe, would be the next one. Um, 
And then after that, I think it's either AHL, AHL Premier Artifacts in that order. Um, in like middle of March for Artifacts. I will be, I think I'll end up being away for the Artifacts time. Um, but we'll catch up on that. But yeah, I think right now, late, late May is what the early universal things are and normally it's normally they're pretty accurate with like they never really put the things too far back but again it all depends it can change like 20 times over again so foodie for the blue jackets on the rookie portraits kershaw for chicago on the young guns On a base. And I go through that after. Horvat for the Canucks on the canvas. Kratz off for the Rangers on the Young Guns. We'll do that one off the top and then we'll go back through all the base. Yeah, I mean, it's a long ways away, but also. Hang on. Just gonna go back through. It's also um, three months after Series 1, which is generally like generally holds true of when series two releases so two three four five six seven i went for the capitals six seven eight nothing there nothing there ingram for the predators Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. And base pack. So. Hey, Bill. Uh, you've got your teams. You have Carolina and Edmonton. <laughs> you have Edmonton. So hopefully we get you a nice little PC card here. Yeah, I mean, NHL will be in the play. I think, like, the release calendar for the next, like, year and a half, two years at this point, if, depending on, you know, the whole pandemic thing, because that's still going on, right? Um, it's going to be a little bit messed up. So, yeah, that that's my big thing, right? Like, as frustrated as I, like, not frustrated, but, like, I wouldn't say even, like, disappointed. It's just, like, the amount of, like, how good series one could have been versus how like what it actually no we're starting with sp game use not spx versus like what it actually ended up like being type of thing is a little bit on the um like i don't know it's still fine like it's a fine checklist it's not the best it's not the worst I know Bill, Bill and I were talking about this. Uh, it was very similar to, it'll be like 1718, except 1718 has a lot better depth throughout it, and but uh, 2122 has a lot higher uh, series, or like has a lot higher of a headliner in, whatchamacallit, Zegris. So, all right, here we go. There's a ranger on the back. Where are we going with this? Ooh, I think we go there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, Bear Banoff for the Leafs on the autograph. He's actually doing pretty well in San Jose. Nice, a quad fabrics for the abs of Makar, Landeskog, Cole, and Donskoy. That is from the, not numbered, but it's from the uh, 2020 Stadium Series game. So I believe that's technically Makar rookie year. Technically. Uh, we got a random between the Devils and Islanders. Barzell and Hishier for the All-Star Skills duel. Uh, who is that? That is... Islanders are Emil and Devils are... Emil. Oh, no random there. Emil has both teams. Right? Yep. Yep, perfect. No random. Uh, it's a banjad for the Rangers on the, uh, I think, J.T. Miller for the Canucks. 
And number two, nine, true base of Philip Forsberg for the Predators. Nice base to nine for the Predators. Not a team you expect to hit big with, but Marshall, there you go. And it's not like the biggest dollar valued card, but it's a card number to nine. And I always like the, you know, base, like the true card being, you know, the jersey number. When it's a low jersey number, it's cool. Not a bad box, not a bad box. Some good names, so the quad's nice. So yeah, the 2020 Stadium Series would have been in 2019-20, which was McCarr's rookie year. So, if that's, that's game used, right? Yeah, that's game used from that exact game too. So you know that it's from, um, you know what game it's from. <laughs> And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, start home to the side. All right, let's do the left side here. If I see something good, I'll save it, but if I don't, then we will continue. Right, it goes this way. Eichel for the Sabres on the extravagant materials. Again, not numbered. Next one for the Sabres. Rookie, I think. Finite of Cow for the abs as they're cleaning up here. This is just a jersey card. Burns for the Sharks. And this should be an autograph. Maybe it's a patch model? There's at least an autograph, so. I'm going to try and not spoil it. SPX is like the hardest product to not spoil with. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. For the New York Islanders, uh, Black Lustrous Rookies, Rookie Patch Auto, Sorokin to 125. Nice one there for the Islanders. Emil, there you go. Beautiful card. On card, Patch Auto. Again, the auto's a little bit on the smeared side, but like... Yeah, I can't complain. These are like one of my favorite rookie patch autos on the year. So I just, the, the, like the white versions of those are just insanely nice too, but I still like it really nice card. So, uh, pretty good stuff here. Like honestly, laugh young gun, uh, Sorokin RPA from SPX, like Forsberg out of nine, the quad Jersey from SP game use, which is, they're really tough to pull, I think. So, good stuff. All right, here we go. Uh, we got a patch, I think. Maybe a drafting marks. Or maybe a regular patch. Oh, it's a patch. It's green. We'll save it. We'll save it to the end naturally, I think. So. Uh, Bowers for the apps to 249. Uh, Flyers and Capitals, Connect Me and Oshi. I think this one is. Uh, Capitals is Jeremiah. Flyers is. The Pat Cracker. So that one's an actual random. For the Capitals, John Carlson on the All Star Skills. For the Flyers, that's kind of funny. Giroud to 265. Uh, for the Haps. Price to 265 and nice rookie patch auto. Nice patch here, too, to 35 for the Dallas Stars of Jake Ottinger. Nice RPA. Hey, nothing wrong with an RPA to 35 with a nice little seam. I guess it's probably, probably like, I don't know what that's from actually. Maybe lettering, but really nice patch. So, one random to do so far. Maybe we'll have like a duel in here that we'll have to do again, or we'll have to do a random, but really good stuff. Like, honestly, we've hit some really nice cards, um, some low numbered stuff, some like some good names in the good stuff. Yeah, SPX, the top hits have generally been on the right side, so generally bottom, bottom right.
Here we go. Uh, Velarde to the, for the Kings to 349 on the Black Lustrous Rookie. The or Sorry, the Obsidian Rookies. I think this is just going to be a jersey card. Uh, Verana for the Capitals again. Capitals are cleaning up a little bit on the jersey card. Uh, I think this is an autograph. That's an autograph, so we'll end on that. Uh, Kyle Connor for the Jets to 299. And last card here. Uh, Philip Kershev on the Shadow Box Auto. He's kind of cut off a little bit. You can see his, well, it's not cut off, it's still there, but it's just behind them. Number to 175. Nice uh, Kershev Shadow Box. So we got one random to do. Overall, pretty, pretty solid. I mean, like a Laugh Young Gun, a Forsberg Gun, a 9, the Sorokin, Patch Hotto, the Ottinger. Pretty good. So I'll do this one between the Flyers and the Capitals. Uh, we'll do it. Again, as always, three times. And whatever team's on top gets it. Here we go. Once, twice, and third time, the Washington Capitals held out the whole way on that one. So, uh, work this, 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 Washington Capitals. There you go, Jeremiah. There you go. So that is the, that is the break. Um, I'll do a quick check on basketball just to let everyone know where we're at within that. But honestly, like for what we had, really good stuff. Like really solid break. Could have used like some slightly better names here and there, but we had a lot of good young guns. I mean, we got like, you know, I mean, we got, we got a lot of good ones. So, uh, Helm, I really don't quite know yet. Um, we'll have two hockey, one football. Basketball is going to be the only one that's kind of up in the air. Um, depends on that break, but hockey is hockey fully depends on um, series one release date right now. So, because I've got a break that I want to do the week before series one release date, and I have a feeling I'm not going to know if it's got getting delayed or not. So, um, but so I guess in that point, I'll probably next week we'll do a half case of series one hobby from last year in a uh double up so tier teams um you get like a team from your big group b um so it'll be like the regular price of a case break just you get you know you get two teams and one of them being you know top half team one of them being not a top half team so uh, i think it'll be fun there but yeah um uh, 